Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fish Market Academy where we teach you how to fish for gains. So in today's video, we'll be going through Atom 2.0 and the Bullish Tokenomics rework. So if you found this video useful and interesting, do remember to like and subscribe and let's get started. So disclaimer, nothing I say is financial advice. Okay, so what is Cosmos? Cosmos is basically a layer zero blockchain and it is one of the most popular non-EVM chains in terms of users. So Cosmos allows other blockchains using the Cosmos SDK to be built on top of and be connected to it, allowing it to receive the security from Cosmos validators. So Cosmos uses the inter-blockchain communication, also known as IBC module, to exchange data, tokens, and more between uh, blockchains in Cosmos, basically enabling cross-chain composability without relying on a trusted third party. So this is really big because uh, no trusted third party means that there's no bridging solutions. And no bridging solutions means that we wouldn't have had over a billion dollars in funds being stolen in just one year and, and less. So they will have way less of these bridging exploits and people will have their money a lot more secure. And cross-chain composability also allows for the same Lego building blocks in Ethereum that made Ethereum really popular to basically happen on Cosmos as well because protocols and applications, they can create even more powerful applications on top of existing technology. And using Cosmos SDK, it also allows developers to launch the tailor-built app chains with greater user experience because they can uh, basically custom build their chain for trading, for NFT, for staking, etc. They can tweak the different parameters of the chain so that they can optimize for either speed, security, scalability, uh, fees, etc. And they can also not worry too much about validators uh, because they can have their chain secured by Cosmos or other uh, bigger chains known as provider chains, which I'll explain about in a bit. So that's Cosmos. What about Atom? Atom is a native governance token of Cosmos and it's both governance and gas. And it currently has um, poorer than ideal tokenomics and a somewhat lack of value accrual because their token doesn't have a lot of utility apart from governance. And because a lot of transactions don't really happen on Cosmos itself, but rather on other chains, they are also not really getting a lot of the gas fees. Uh, so that's why the price, uh, price is actually doing well, but it could do so much better if the tokenomics and value accrual were to improve. So currently, Atom has an inflationary yield of between 6 to 15% per year, uh, forever, infinitely, which is not very good for the Cosmos ecosystem. And the Cosmos has released a roadmap with a new white paper on Atom, with more details being released at the upcoming Cosmosverse event on 26 September. And this also means that Atom is likely to have a reworked tokenomics. So this could also mean they could possibly cap the supply or even make it deflationary uh, or some other ways. Uh, the details are not out, but basically the issue of infinite supply and high inflation uh, will be addressed to a certain extent. And with that also comes new value accrual mechanisms such as interchain security, uh, which allows for smaller chains, like I mentioned just now, to, to basically let the bigger chain like Cosmos to secure the chain so they don't have to worry about validators and, and all that. And in exchange, these smaller chains will have to pay the bigger chain uh, the they are staking rewards as well as some of the gas fees will go to the bigger chain. And the bigger chain will take these fees and give it to stakers. So if Cosmos is the main chain that people uh, want to protect them in terms of security, then Atom will receive a lot of these additional fees, which is a good way to get more value accrual. And there will also be interchain accounts and interchain queries, which will help the Cosmos ecosystem. And I'll go through them in a bit. So talking about interchain security, uh, it's one of the ways that I think Cosmos and Atom will gain the most value in the near future. And to explain that, I want to talk a bit about the security in Cosmos. So this is um, overly simplified, but it's to give you an understanding. Uh, security in Cosmos is determined by the economic value, which is kind of like market cap in a, in a sense, of the stake assets of the chain validators. So just understand that if the chain um, gets too cheap in terms of market cap, they can open themselves up to a tax, either 33% or 66% tax. I won't go into too much details. So you can imagine if a new chain were to be created, uh, they don't really have a high market cap probably if they're not well funded. And that means that they um, need to worry about security. So 
Traditionally, what they will do is they offer high inflationary rewards to incentivize validators to buy and stick with them. Uh, but this is not a good long-term solution because if they cannot get product market fit in time or they, they don't, just don't have the uh, value accrual, then the validators will basically just keep selling these taking rewards and the price will drop and the market cap will drop. And again, they will face the problem of the risk of an attack on their chain. So uh, what... Um, Atom will be doing is launching in the chain security and become a provider chain which will help other uh, blockchains in Cosmos with their security duties. So in, in a sense it's like if you are in a if you are a startup and then you want to build a um, protocol right instead of going out there to build your own building and then you need to secure your own building with bodyguards and all that with a lot of um, security fees that you need to burden yourself with uh, you can just basically rent an office in the bigger MNC and then they will, uh, you pay them like rental, right? But they will actually secure your office for you, right? You have uh, bodyguards, you have um, security guards, etc. I don't think you have bodyguards in uh, MNCs <laughs> unless you are in cyberpunk or something, but the idea is there. Yeah, so uh, it's a win-win situation and then the smaller chain can focus on building first and then when it gets big enough, it can uh, move out to be its own chain with its own validators. Uh, it's really its own chain, but we can build out its own validator set in the future. So initially, they focus more on just creating their, their products, their uh, product market fit, their audience capture and traction, etc. Without worrying too much about their token price and their security. So with the with ICS, uh, validators from the Cosmos Hub can be leased out to newer blockchains for security, or the team uh, of the newer blockchain can focus on building and gaining traction for their chain. So, um, like I mentioned, uh, they can just focus on building first, and they also don't don't need to issue super high inflationary tokens in the beginning, which can push interested investors away. Um, so they, they will still issue out inflationary tokens to, to Cosmos and Atom stakers, uh, but it doesn't have to be as high compared to if you don't have someone providing you for security. And on top of that, the smaller chain will also receive the majority of the gas fees, which is unlike if you are using Ethereum or, or Solana or whatever, um, these kind of smart contract platforms, uh, stakers, or last time it was miners, they are the ones that collect most of the gas fee. It doesn't go to the chain itself. But with ICS, the smaller chains will still keep the majority of their gas fee with a small portion going to the chain that provided security. Yeah, so win-win, like I mentioned. So how is ICS good for Atom? Uh, like I mentioned, in exchange for providing security, the provider chain, like Atom uh, or Cosmos, it can also be Osmosis, which is what people are also saying can be a very big provider chain because they are very established as well. So they will receive some of the fees. Uh, this is transaction and gas fees and also the staking rewards of the consumer chain, which are di directed to uh, the Atom stakers for uh, if Cosmos is the provider chain. And they can also... They can also basically outsource their functionality uh, to the consumer chain, um, allowing it to gain ad additional functionality without building it themselves and saving a lot of developer time. So what this means is that Cosmos Hub is more or less confirmed to be securing Quicksilver Chain, which is a liquid staking platform. Think of it like Lido. And they are also able to use the liquid staking system of Quicksilver for liquid atom staking. So they don't have to go and build their own liquid staking um for, for Atom, they can just use Quicksilver for their liquid staking. So that helps to create like a, a bit like a symbiotic relationship in a sense. And then all of the staking rewards and gas fees of Quicksilver gets, um, not, not all, but a portion of it will get given back to Atom stakers, which will create value accrual and should theoretically increase the price of Atom. So the next one is actually pretty cool. It's uh, called Interchain Accounts, or known as IA, and it basically takes Interchain compatibility to the next level. So it allows a blockchain to securely, securely create and control an account on other blockchains via IBC. So uh, if, if both chains, if two chains have IA enabled, they can talk to each other, and not just can they talk to each other, chain A can create an account on chain B seamlessly. So uh, this basically allows for much better user experience because the users, right, from chain A, for example, uh, I want to use Carbon's money market, right? My assets are not on Carbon, it's on Kuji, for example. And I have USK on Kuji, right? But not, nothing on Carbon. So I can, uh, on Carbon, I can get Carbon to tell Kuji to send USK over to Carbon and then collateralize USK to mint um, USC or to borrow USC or to borrow any other asset all while I'm on carbon 
without even leaving the carbon uh, network or the, the DMAX uh, user interface. So that makes it very convenient. So that's what IA can help to do. So that's um, pretty cool. And then in the chain queries, uh, basically it just allows, it allows you to query and read data from other chains, which would open up even more possibilities. So in conclusion, the new roadmap is very bullish for Atom in the long run. Uh, and uh, investors are basically buying up uh, before the official announcement of Atom 2.0 and the tokenomics. So there's a lot of speculative hype right now um, because Atom new tokenomics will reduce inflation or it's probably going to reduce inflation and possibly make it deflationary, uh, maybe even cap at a max supply. I, all of these are speculation yet uh, So because the, the information is not out. But ICS will in essentially bundle all of the Cosmos blockchains from a security standpoint as well as from a feature standpoint where uh, different chains can work with each other to create new um, value proposition that they can't do alone. And that makes it very exciting. So ultimately, uh, do your own due diligence, invest with caution. Atom price has been going up because of the event. And most things in crypto is unfortunately buy the rumor and sell the news. So if the tokenomics are not as hyped up as what they, they said, then we might see it dropping. But I do think from a longer term point of view, Atom is very interesting and I will continue to, to look out for opportunities to buy if we drop to a price that is attractive. Hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.